I think I broke the boat. Watch out everybody, I'm about to seriously geek out here. We started small, having fun, and always thinking bigger. We took some day trips and moved up to a boat that we could take weekend trips with, learning as we went along. until it was time to move up to a larger boat that we named Three Ravens. We took some extended trips, again learning as we went along. It soon became evident that this was the life for us. Now we have a two-year plan to become full-time liveaboards. Join us on our journey on our floating classroom as we learn everything we need to know to become full-time liveaboards. We're Bill and Lisa, and we're gonna live on a boat. They say if you want a lot of views on YouTube, you have to show a sexy woman in a bikini on a boat. So, here you go. Thanks, Lisa. Now, back to work. When I got my first boat, I was thrilled that it had a refrigerator and interior lighting. This was all new to me. And quite frankly, I knew absolutely nothing about electronics. Uh, someone asked me once what size inverter I had, and I just gave him a blank stare. I didn't even know what an inverter was. He explained to me that this is what converts DC power from your batteries to AC power to use with various appliances. Okay, I learned that. I also had heard about watts and volts and amps, and I knew that uh, batteries had volts and hair dryers had amps and light bulbs had watts. Um, but I really didn't know what the difference was. So it was back to the books, and I found this book to be extremely helpful. Now, Three Ravens was built in the year 2000, and at the time, they put in a 1,750-watt inverter. I suspect at the time they weren't thinking about things like toaster ovens and microwaves, and especially not things like computers and recharging computers. I also wondered why I kept on blowing up these little things that you can plug into the wall and put your USB plug into. These were frying on me all the time. This brought me to sine waves. It was explained to me that the power in your house is a pure sine wave. This is what you usually think of when you think of a sine wave but the power coming from my inverter was what was called a modified sine wave, which looked like this. And apparently, this is what was blowing up my little items and not allowing me to use some of the more sophisticated equipment like computers or microwaves. So, I des I've decided to put in a new inverter. It was a rainy, cold day in Vermont. It's a good day to do a little bit of internal work and change the inverter. I chose the Xantrex Freedom X 3000 watt inverter. I carefully unplugged all of the shore power, turned off the house batteries, made sure that there was no power, AC or DC. In an abundance of caution, I even turned off the on-off switch for the inverter. I figured I was safe with no power flowing through there at all. The problem was how to get the inverter into this impossibly small space. 
Some people have asked why I'm even bothering to change the inverter since I'm going to be selling the boat next year. It's a legitimate question. Um, but it's important to remember that we're using Three Ravens as a classroom. And one of the things I want to learn is everything there is to know about an inverter. Who knows in my next boat if I'm going to have to change it. And if I do it this time, I know how it's done. Also, I'm going to be living on this boat next summer. Uh, and spending a lot of time on it this year and I want to have the correct amount of power that I need um, and the right kind of power that I need. So it's a good day to be changing the inverter. What's going on? I think I broke the boat. I have no idea what's going on. I got the inverter installed um, and I think I tripped some breakers but it's still not working and I have no idea what is wrong. So it turns out that what happened was that I was, I was trying to get this huge inverter into an impossibly small space and twisting it and pushing it against wires and and pipes and all sorts of things trying to jam it in there um, I managed to knock the cover off of some sort of an electrical connection now I thought I had turned every part <clears throat> every part of the electrical system off I didn't think there's any live wires there was one because when it hit it, it sparks flew and um, I obviously tripped some breakers somewhere. In fact, I found out later I tripped them all. Um, so I reset the ones that I could find, but I just could not figure out why, even though resetting the breakers I could find, it still didn't work. Um, thankfully, boaters do watch out for each other. And John uh, is my neighbor here at the marina. Well, he came all the way from work and um, he took his multimeter and piece by piece, part by part, went through testing every single connection, every single thing he could find, and finally found one lead, a positive lead, that was dead. And we traced that all the way back and we found this little breaker a 300 watt bus breaker right on the battery that I didn't even know was there. So we found another one the next day, plugged it in, and everything started working. So let's hope there's <laughs> not any more troubles. Yay. And uh, John's our boat guardian angel. Absolutely. <laughs> Yay, John. <laughs> Hey everybody, we just wanted to take a minute and thank you for watching. We just found out that we have reached 100 subscribers. <laughs> I was amazed when we had 17 people watch our first video. <laughs> We're glad that you're enjoying the videos. And I want you to know that we are never going to monetize these. There will never be any ads you have to click through. We're not trying to make any money on it. We're just doing it for our pleasure and for yours. And we hope that you're learning something. And thank you so much for joining us on our journey. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for joining us on our journey as we learn an awful lot and have a lot of fun. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> we're Bill and Lisa, and we're going to live on a boat. us on our journey. I screwed it all up. <laughs> no, you said it perfectly. <laughs>